So we got the hole prepared. And install the outer stems, one on the aft of the boat, one on the front of the boat. They're held in by one screw here, one on the top, one down near the bottom. After the two stems were on, I then built the rest of the keel section, which consisted of This front stem was the same thickness all the way. I made a cut at this location. This part of the bottom keel is actually flexed to copy and the uh, rocker of the bottom of the boat. So this was screwed down. Then I took a bat and then I clamped it and I just kind of extended the curve of the bottom of the boat right out over the front stem. And then I took, unscrewed that, took it to the bandsaw, cut it out. And I have two more keel pieces, one on each side of the dagger board that went on and then I filled out the remainder of the bottom keel structure with this last piece and the, the rear stem kind of the same way we uh, this was temporarily screwed in place then I went from our one inch depth and extended that out and cut took this back off cut it on the bandsaw took this off cut it on the bandsaw and then glued everything in place. After the entire bottom of the boat, the stems and the, and the under and the bottom keel was in place, um, then I took my favorite new tool, motorized hand plane, to really do some damage. It's kind of a crazy, terrifying tool, but it sure uh, makes wood removal and wood shaping much easier than anything else I've found. So then I kind of shaped the back to be kind of a fair curve. I still have to do some belt sanding and give it some final shape. The same way on the front part of the, of the keel, the stem. It's close, but it needs a little belt sanding and smoothing up and so after that while that structure was all drying i finished rough sanding the boat and making sure all of the laps had a decent fillet that was smooth to the touch and stuff is so splintery i have millions of splinters that i've dug out of my hands so now that the bottom keel is done and all my nail holes are filled, I'm going to belt sand and finish the final shape of the front and back stems. And my next plan will be to switch from the 80 grit to like 180 and give the boat a really nice final sanding, get everything really nice and smooth. And then a couple of coats of epoxy and we'll call the outside structure of the boat done and we'll be ready to flip it over and start working on rails and seats and cleats and thwarts and mass partners and all the rest of the busy work that goes inside my sails did arrive the other day had a chance to get them out of the box yet but I plan on doing a little video of unboxing the sails. Um, a man named Douglas Fowler um, sewed the sails, professional sail shop. The 
kind of specializes in Caledonia yalls and uh, from everything I've heard it's highly recommended I can't wait to get them out and take a look so I think that's it for this time we'll talk to you again